Well, good evening, everyone. My name is Robert Jenrick. I'm the Conservative candidate. It's a pleasure to be here, and thank you, Michelle, for hosting. Uh, tonight brings together two of the great institutions of New Paper, and there aren't many of those, sadly, left in the rest of the country, and that we've got one of the most vibrant business clubs anywhere in the East Midlands. In fact, a business club that's expanded well beyond Newark uh, to bring in people from across Nottinghamshire, Lincolnshire and Leicestershire. Those are two things that uh, I'd love to support as Member of Parliament and uh, I'm very grateful for them. So tonight's your opportunity to meet us as candidates, to hear about our values, our background and why you should lend us your trust and support on the 5th of June. To give you the context of this by-election, I think this is an election that matters. It's an election which centres around who do you want, as a community, to represent you in Parliament. It's not about a protest, it's about who is the best man, or woman, man sadly in this case, as there's only men of all 11 of us, but who do you think is going to take the fight from Newark and Nottinghamshire to Westminster and represent you with all the energy and commitment that you deserve as a community? It's an election about securing the future for Newark. How do we get a better and brighter future? Now, I'm a dad, I've got two young girls, we live in Southwell, we want to make a life in this community and I want the best for it. The best to me means the best schools, it means the best jobs, it means great public services, it means vibrant transport links, it means Newark being sold nationally and internationally as never before. And to do that, you need a champion. You need somebody who's going to be the best of this area and take that to, the, to, to Westminster and beyond. Now you've had MPs over the years who, as we know, have let you down. So you deserve a straightforward, scandal-free MP who's going to really represent this area with all their vigour and energy. You need somebody, in my opinion, young, energetic, with new ideas and above all, with a plan for this area. Now, I have a record already of delivering for Newark. I was selected at the end of last year as the Conservative candidate, long before this by-election was called. I haven't turned up for a by-election, I haven't turned up to make a particular political point, or to help Ed Miliband on his journey to Downing Street, or to shore up his, uh, his difficult leadership. I'm here because I'm committed to this area. I'm here because I want to be a strong voice. And since I was selected, I've met hundreds, if not thousands, of local people. I've done 250 community meetings, from parish council meetings, visiting schools, small businesses. And I've begun to deliver for the area. Whether that's winning the support of the Chancellor to transform our East-West Rail Link, something that I think will make a huge difference to this town, and I know that the Business Club have been campaigning for for years. Whether it's bringing the Secretary of State to visit all the flooded communities to try and get the support and investment they deserve and is long overdue. Whether it's meeting schools to see Michael Gove to get the Newark Academy rebuilt and a date finally in the calendar for a complete rebuild. Whether it's standing up for rural communities to ensure that we don't have inappropriate development, we don't have wind farms when they don't want them. In all these areas, I hope I've shown a record of commitment to this area and of getting things done. My background is in business. I'm not a career politician. I've never served in politics. I'm in politics because I believe in getting things done. I want to make a contribution and I want to be Newark's voice in Westminster. I'm a conservative. My values are conservative. But I think for myself, and I'll be an independent-minded MP for this community, that I hope, if I'm selected, if I can win your trust, you can respect and be here at your side in the years to come. Thank you tonight. I look forward to answering your questions.